what I'm interested in doing here is to show visually the amount of forest cover when Myanmar got its independence and compare that to the amount of forest cover that's estimated in Myanmar today. So my first step is to go to flat icon to try to find a map of Myanmar and lo and behold there is one so I'm going to download this map of Myanmar. And my next step that I want to do is open a blank um, pages document so that I can work with this image a little bit. So I'm going to pull in the map that I downloaded of Myanmar and then I'm going to take a screenshot of it and open it up in preview. Once I've got the screenshot of my map open in preview, what I want to do is I want to um, click on the little toolbox and then select the little tool that looks like a magic wand. This is the instant alpha tool and it will allow me to remove the black colored part of the map. The reason I screenshotted this is so that I actually have white outline around the map. Otherwise I would have been left with a completely blank canvas at this point. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this instant alpha image into my um, pages document and I'm going to position it and resize it. The other thing that I'm going to do, two things, I'm going to click on arrange and make sure that I have text wrap turned off and I want this thing to uh, kind of be in the back. So I'm going to do arrange send to back so that it's behind the text that I've got there already. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up um, some colors behind this map. To do that, I'm going to the Shapes menu and I'm just going to add a little rounded rectangle. I'm going to recolor that rectangle and I'm going to position it to send it to the back. And then I'm going to position it in my map so that it looks like it's filling up about 42% uh, of the country. I'm going to try to be as accurate as possible, but I'm not actually measuring the volume of the country. This is one of the interesting things, actually, when you're looking at infographics, is seeing that they're um, graphically correct. Sometimes they cheat a little bit to overemphasize the points. You should do your best to actually make them as accurate as you possibly can. So now I'm just going through and trying to get the colors right. I'm going to choose the color picker and try to get that same green color that's from my other, um, that I've used previously. And then I'm going to do the same with the other portion. So I'm going to make another um, rounded rectangle here to represent the part that was there um, originally at the time of independence. So uh, just check out how I do this. So now you can see I've got a map with my two different colors, one representing forest cover now, one representing forest cover at the time of Myanmar's independence. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and work with the text a little bit, and then I'm going to add in some labels. And there you have it. Now I'm going to hide my grid lines so that I can see actually what my whole infographic is starting to look like. And you can see that I've got some elements, I've got them aligned, um, and my infographic is really starting to sh take shape the way I want it to.